Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. Welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about how we can calculate flood inundation area of a particular region for a particular year. In my previous videos of HECRAS 2D part 1 and 2, I have demonstrated about the basics of HECRAS 2D model setup, some features of HECRAS 2D model, and also how we can save the simulation files like max water depth, water surface elevation, etc. after the simulation is completed. So you can check my previous tutorials to recap those ideas. So now, suppose I am importing the water surface elevation max tip file here. So actually I got this water surface elevation max tip file uh, from Hector's 2D model simulation. It is the water surface elevation max tip file of a particular year, uh, which you can get um, by simulating a model in Hector's 2D. You can check my previous tutorial of Hector's 2D model part two to know about how you can save the max water depth or water surface elevation files from RASMAPAR. So now I will import the Tana shape file of Bangladesh here, which I have downloaded previously. Then I will right click on Tana shape file, will go to properties. Then I will go to levels and I will label it by Tana name. I will click on label features in this layer and we'll click on okay so here we can see the thana names suppose i want to see the inundated area of gaptoli for that particular year of max water surface elevation so what I have to do, I have to select the select features option. Then I will select Gaptoli here. Then I will go to search option. Then I will write clip and will press enter. Then I will go to clip data management tool. Then I will input the raster, which is water surface elevation max. Then I will click on output extent, which is Thana shape file. Then I will also mark this use input features for clipping geometry, which is optional. Uh, so I will mark this. Then I will also mark the maintain clipping extent optional uh, here. So after uh, tick mark on these two options, I will click on OK. So we can see that our clipping is done. So here we can see the clip file here. So I will give it a name, which is Gaptoli inundated area. So now I will go to search option again, then I will write reclassify here, then I will press enter and will go to reclassify special analyst tool. Then I will give the input raster here, which is Gaptoli inundated area. Then you can reclassify here so I will leave it here as it is. Then I will click on OK. I'll, the output cluster is uh, shown here. I will also keep it as it is. You can save it in a particular folder uh, so that you can keep track. Uh, so I, I am keeping it as it is. Then I will click on OK. So our reclassify is also done. 
you can declassify based on your plant inundation area like um, very low inundated area low inundated medium inundated high inundated or very high inundated you can reclassify based on the that as well so now we will go to the search option again then i will write raster to polygon then i will press enter then i will click on raster to polygon conversion option then i will input raster here which is the class uh, final here or what it is then i can save it in output polygon features so i am saving it in this file as the default file is shown here then i will click on okay try try to save all the files in a particular folder so you can keep track so here my file is ready so i can give it a name as gaptuli so if i right click on it then go to open attribute table here you can see that the shape area is here so now what we have to do we have to add field here then i will give it a name plot inundated area then i will give the type double and we'll click on okay then i have to click editor start editing select gaptoli and then click on okay click on continue then again go to the open attribute table of gaptoli then select the flat inundated area by left click on it then right click on it go to calculate geometry select the property area use the coordinate system btm then i will calculate the units as square kilometers then select on okay then select on yes so here we can see that our flood inundated area in square kilometer is shown here then close it again i will go to search option write table to excel then press enter then go to table to excel conversion tool then give the input table which is gaptoli then save the output excel file in a particular folder i will keep it as it is uh, shown here then click on okay uh, so i can also save it in my desktop so i can find it easily suppose i am saving it in my desktop so i will write plot inundated area then click on save and click on okay so our table to excel tool is completed then close it then i will go to desktop so here we can see that the flood inundated area excel is here so i will double click on it so here you can see that the flood inundated area of different id is here there are around 1468 rows here so i will sum it so i will write equal sum then i will write f 0 f 2 
to f one four which i think was uh, one four six eight one four six eight so the total column is selected then i will press enter so here it is the flood inundation area flood inundation area square kilometer so it is the sum of flood inundation area of Kaptoli for that particular year now we can go to the thana shape file we can go to the open attribute table then we can check uh, that uh, the gaptoli area is around 247.89 square kilometer so what we can do we can again go to excel then write the total area of gaptoli which is in square kilometer which is actually we can again check it is 247.89 so write 247.89 then what we can do we can divide the flood inundated inundation area square kilometer by total area of Gaptoli. so what we can understand that it is uh, 0.5206 which is actually 52 percent so we can understand that 52 percent area of Gaptoli is inundated for that particular year so this is how we can calculate the flood inundation area flood inundation area percentages in arcgis thank you everyone